Hello everyone, it's Linda from Linda Z's in Arlington Heights, Illinois, ready for our Thursday morning coffee uh, extravaganza <laughs> with sewing. We are, um, that's a long title, <laughs> we're just doing a quick little follow-up on one of my prior videos. I had done a, um, a one of the Kimberbell bags and this is it, all finished, you can see on the back and I'm going to put it over here where you can see it a little bit closer because I think it's really fun to see the embroidery. Wouldn't this be just fabulous for a, uh, have this in your stash for regular to any of your friends or ready to go when you don't have something for a birthday gift? I think this would be a really cool thing and if you remember when I did this in the other video, these um, little bags, they come in gray and white checks and then I think we have them in black and white. We haven't been able to get the pink and white yet. I would love that. But I want to show you how I did this because, uh, and maybe Nick, I'll put it up close. And by the way, Mr. Nicola Mazio, my grandson, is now a young man who is engaged. <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> Congratulations, Nikki. He and his uh, fiance, Amy, just came back from France. Very romantic and uh, they are engaged. So we'll keep you in the loop as to when the next date is, right? When, when the wedding comes and everything. <laughs> and I know many of you know that uh, Nikki is my grandson and uh, we're just so excited. Debbie, of course, my daughter, who is one of our managers and one of the owners here is just ecstatic. She's still over there um, trying to get a few things done, but she comes back tomorrow. So we're really, I'm real excited to have a wedding to plan for. Now, this is the inside of this tote bag. Now I should start doing some wedding things, shouldn't I, Nick, on these videos? <laughs> but this is for a happy birthday. You know, um, the bag is, it's, uh, when it comes to you, there's no seams that are sewn. They're overcast, but they're not sewn. So you can see I did the, the embroidery on this inside of the bag, and then I just stitched them up, and you can see how I went from one corner to the next corner and the same way on here I stitched it to here and then I went from this corner to this corner you want the same size I think this was like an inch and a quarter inch and a quarter and the same thing over there then when you turn it to the inside and all I had to do is a straight stitch down the edge of the seams because the um, the seams are already overcast and of course you want to line them up so that they're totally even at the top and then when you pull this bag out, and it's got such nice canvas duck, it's a real nice fabric, and we hope to get it in other colors in the future. But see how nice this is? And then it gives you a nice little flat bottom so that you can, um, and with these little um, plaids, it really makes it uh, real nice and even. So there on one side is the happy birthday with the little gift, and here on the other one is the happy birthday with the candles. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of other things that I think are really great. <clears throat> there, along with this tote bag, I told you it would really be fun to have these in your stash for your friends or, you know, some people that maybe surprise you and, oh my gosh, it's their birthday next week, I forgot, or tomorrow and I didn't have anything. And this way you've got something. Now this happens to be, there's a whole group of letter lettering in this um, video, I mean in this little USB stick. So you could put whatever number the birthday girl or boy would be. And isn't that cute? I just put it right on a towel. You could take some of these towels and what you could do is you could wrap them with a nice loaf of bread that you have made or a batch of cookies or just make some, you know, find something in the bakery that you love and, um, you know, put it around there. and. Then stuff the bag, the tote bag, or you could take one of these with a little candle. I mean, just some really fun things. Now, I have another idea that I think would be just great to do this, and I'm gonna show you this in another video because it will take too long right now. But it is actually taking one of these towels. I've shown it in a video before, but I wanna show it as a happy birthday one. And you can take this, now I have this sash hoop over here. And now you really do have to have a brother if you're going to do this and it fits on the uh, the luminaire because it just slides right in onto the um, <clears throat> this one happens to 
go on to the um, valiant, which is a baby lock, or you could put it on to your um, brother, 1055X, and it, it just, if you look at what I'm doing here, I can go ahead and take this little clip and it comes right off. And then I just slide this clamp over and it automatically clips right on. So I'm gonna show that next week. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually make a bottle cover out of one of these towels and using the uh, hem for the top of the bottle cover. And there, there's a couple of little ways of doing that. And so I thought it would be fun to actually show you a step-by-step. -step. It, it'll take maybe 10 minutes. The a wonderful idea of this is to get your creativity going so you can kind of see what it is that you would do out of this design. Now, this is what I print out when I do one of the USB designs from um, OESD. OESD is Oklahoma Embroidery Designs. We carry those in our store. We have them on our website. And you can see, if I put this up close to the camera, Nick, can they see it? This happens to be a scissor tail stitching, which is, um, there's 16 designs in here. And not only do they have the designs, they have all the numbers and everything, but they have all the directions on how you would do this and all the colors. And I mean, it's just such an easy, wonderful thing to do. This happens to be the slow cooker party recipe because that could go in for a party, um, you know, happy birthday also. I use the color scheme of pink, white, and gray. And I think that's, you know, just a fun one for a, um, a birthday girl. But you could do the black and white and you could do it for a more masculine um, idea. I mean, there's just so many ideas that you could do. What I recommend you doing, because this is a wonderful new thing that we were able to work with uh, OESD on, and we can t um, sign you up for a whole year. And uh, can I put this form up there? Will they see that? This is called their uh, registration form for the whole year. It's an OESD program. It's only, and they've just made this a real reasonable thing for everybody. It's only $749 for a whole year of monthly designs. Plus, on the bottom here, you can uh, fill out a whole grouping of different collections that you get free. Now, we have that um, form. We're going to put it on our website for you. Or you can just call us, and we can fill it out for you and register you. And this design group that I did here, what I was doing last week, you'll find in many, many of the designs, they are all included. Anything that OESD makes in that whole year comes in with this group of $749. I've been a member myself, um, oh gee, years. And you can never have enough designs, and I really mean that. When I went looking for this, um, let me see what this, if it shows you what the year is. Because I have all mine grouped, and I have them on a thing. This is actually, um, I think this one was February 20, February of 2021 is when this one came out. So again, it's got many other designs besides this whole birthday collection. But what I'm going to show you in the next video is going to have how to do that little bottle holder. And again, you could put a candle in there if somebody doesn't you know, drink, if they, they could put root beer in there, you could put a bottle of wine. I mean, there's just so many ideas that would be great. The whole entire thing will be done with a towel and it'll be done in the hoop just like we were doing with this. The majority of these, because I was doing them very quickly, and I can show you on the back here, were done with Perfect Stick. Now, you would not have to do that. You could use the, um, and let, I'm going to ask you guys and see if you can remember. You can see this is the Perfect Stick that I pulled out. But what else could I have used that would have worked very well? You're right, <laughs> the heat and stay fusible. That is a really, really good one. Um, anything fusible that keeps the fabric from stretching is great. And you can see on this, you can see how wonderful this is because it's really pulling the fabric nice and taut. Now, I wanna show you one last thing before we go. I have asked, my quilter friends have been asking about, this is a two inch square. It's an interfacing and it's fusible. We have had more fun with this. We just had a program with Jerry Granato where he actually did the quilting in the hoop. And I had some pretty advanced quilters in there. 
and every single one of them ordered, I think we ended up with six bolts of these, uh, five and 10 yards at a crack because you fuse this onto the fabric. The instructions and everything are in here. Every single person from the very beginner to the very advanced person had total accurate seams. I mean, this is just one of the coolest things I've ever seen. So I wanted to mention it to you. I think it's just the two inch just turned out beautifully. And hopefully next, um, Nick, we can get one of those videos and we can show them some of the things that went with it. Um, three other things that came in that are brand new that I want to show you because nobody has seen these yet. And these are the new embellish um, tools. And maybe by the time you see this, you'll look on our uh, website. I know these run at different times. This one is, um, will be, this will, this video will actually run before the um, event. And we're having an event in August where I think we only have like six or eight signups, but is it a wonderful event? It's Paula Bramwell, and she's doing the embellish, showing some of the new techniques and new things are, and it's hands on. So. You know, it's wonderful when I can talk to you and, you know, show you things in these videos. And I, I cannot thank you enough for all of your, you know, concentration and that you continually go on and look at what I'm doing. But I know that this is more difficult because I, it's the same way for me. When I'm in a class and I have to do it, I get it done. It's one thing to watch it and see it, but another thing to sit down and actually do what I'm telling you. That's why in my last video, I asked you to get one of these tote bags, put a design on it. You'll understand what I'm talking about, and I hope you're doing some of that because otherwise, um, I, the, the best learning tool, and I don't care how your learning structure is, is going to be that hands-on where you're actually physically doing it. So then you can ask the questions about what is it that I would have to do. And you know, I promised you the last time we cut here, I would turn, you don't have to cut again, Nikki, that I would turn this off. So I will do that right now. Normally, um, we check our phones and we forget about the watches. So anyway, I am, um, I got one last product that I think it can be kind of fun for you to see. And this is the new Embellish uh, chalkboard. And I don't know a lot about it yet because Paula's gonna show this in an event, but I know it's brand new and I know we're gonna be carrying it. It'll probably be on our website. So I'd love to have a, you take a few minutes and take a look at it. That's it, I think I've covered it all. <laughs> and thank you so much, everyone. I hope you're having a great summer, great holiday. And uh, we hope to see you next week with uh, the bottle, the candle holder, the root beer, or the wine holder. <laughs> okay, thanks everyone.